Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about the kinetics of the radical polymerization. In radical polymerization, we have three significant steps, initiation, propagation, and termination. So what happens in the initiation step is, is we have our initiator molecules that dissociate into two initiator radicals. And later on, some of the initiator radicals react with the monomers and, and form this polymer radical center, something like this, or we can write with the P, polymer radical center. That means the active center from the initiator radicals are shifting towards the monomer and forming a new polymer radicals, polymer radical center where the new monomers can keep adding in the propagation step. So this term, we can clearly write that our rate of decreasing of our initiator concentration, that means that, means that it is also the same thing as a rate of polymer radical formation, that means the concentration of the formation of our polymer radical is, is, is nothing but two times F times our dissociation constant times our initiator concentration. Now you can say that where did I get this term F? And this term F is the efficiency as I call that some of the initial radicals are reacting with the monomer, not all of them. So this F is a ratio of the radicals that incorporate to polymer and the total number of initial radicals that are formed in this initiation process. And this term F lies in between 0.3 to 0.8. So, and, and, and this term, our rate of formation of our polymer radical is nothing but our rate of initiation. So, our rate of initiation equals to 2 times F times our dissociation constant times our initiated concentration. Now, Let's move on to the propagation step. So in propagation step, we know that our monomer will keep adding with our polymer radical, something like this. And they're shifting the, they're shifting this active center from the polymer radical to the new monomer, I mean to the next monomer and, and the new polymer radical center is formed. And, and this one we can write like this. Uh, let me raise something here first because because it should be one and I put two as our monomer is one here. So with this one we're adding a new monomer and we're getting a shift of our polymer radical active center and, and, and it, we can write in general like this, like this. like this, our polymer radical center. So we can clearly see that our rate of propagation equals to our rate of diminishing or rate of decreasing of our monomer concentration and that equals to equals to our, our rate of our propagation constant times our monomer radical concentration times our polymer radical concentration. As you see that our rate of propagation depends on the concentration of these both terms. And you know that in this propagation step, that means our rate of consumption of our monomers is, is, is equal to our formation of our polymer. That means this rate of propagation is nothing but a rate of polymerization. That means our monomer consumption and our polymer formation is a constant thing. So, so a rate of polymerization equals to our propagation constant or you can say polymerization constant here times our monomer concentration times our polymer radical concentration. Now let's move on to the termination step. So what happens in termination is that we have two ways of terminate our polymer uh, radicals active centers. That means, that means to stop the polymerization, the polymerization reaction usually follows two ways, combination and disproportion. And in combination, what happens is that we have two polymer radical active centers, something like this. 
come close together and they are combined to form a date polymer chain and 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 in the other way if you want to know in this proportion something like this like our polymer and radical center like this and and it reacts with something like this and one of the hydrogen atom is shifted to another polymer radical and and it form it form two dead polymer chains so we can clearly write a rate of termination equals to our rate of decreasing of our polymer radical concentration equals to two times our constant of this termination times our polymer radical concentrations so that means this termination reaction depends on the both polymer radicals concentration so we can also write two times our constant times our radical concentration square now maybe you have heard about a condition named steady state uh, let me write it again so something like this like steady state condition so what happens in the steady state that at least we know some of our chemical reactions that that where our rate of forward reaction equals to our backward reaction rate that means that means we reach to a certain situation in polymerization reactions where our rate of initiation equals to our rate of termination so we can clearly write like this equals to our rate of termination now if you want to derive the value of our this polymer radical concentration you will see that you will find a term like this from here that and you will notice that our initiator concentration is in the half order with our polymer radical concentration now as we have our value of this polymer radical concentration we can just clearly put the value here in this rate of polymerization so it will look something like this like this and you can clearly see that this whole junk of thing and this propagation constant or polymerization constant what do we see will be converted into the whole constant terms because these terms are constants and we can clearly introduce a new constant term called k with a subscript apparent and multiplies with monomer concentration and initiator concentration raised to the power half now if we know you all of these concentrations and the concentration of our all of this constant and the concentration of our monomer and the initiator you can derive the value of our rate of polymerization at any point of your polymerization reaction and this is all for today and i hope you guys understood the kinetics of the radical polymerization and i will see you next time